the hope of taming yearly floods and expanding commerce were the catalysts that brought about the beginning of what was to become the most expensive single government project in the history of the United States at that time. In 1946, Oklahoma Senator Robert S. Kerr saw the beginning of a dream. Kerr, along with Arkansas Senator John McClellan, both visionaries, successfully pushed through Congress the necessary legislation and funding to connect both states with the ocean and therefore with maritime commerce. The plan was for barges and other commercial traffic to be able to travel from the Gulf of Mexico up the Mississippi, up the White River to the Arkansas River, eventually ending at the port of Catoosa north of Tulsa. But before any of that could happen, a monumental series of events had to occur, not the least of which was government funding. The plan began in 1946 with a series of dams constructed, creating lakes Keystone, Ulaga, Eufaula, and Tenkiller, as well as others in Arkansas. The massive work of constructing the dams continued into the 1950s before being completed in the early 1960s. Work then began on widening and deepening the Arkansas and Verticus Rivers to a uniform depth of 9 feet and 300 to 150 feet wide respectively. In addition, four locks along the Oklahoma system had to be constructed in order to allow river traffic to rise and lower. In 1969, construction was begun on the $4.2 million port facility in Muskogee, the first of its kind ever in Oklahoma. On January 22, 1971, then-Governor David Hall officially opened Oklahoma's waterway to the ocean, forever changing commerce, trade, and industry in our state. The Port of Catoosa near Tulsa opened shortly thereafter, completing the project that began as a dream of Oklahoma Senator Robert S. Kerr in 1946.